Today is a very exciting day, and you're going to learn today that Jesus is the Messiah of the Muslims. I'm going to prove it to you, because most people, when they hear something like that, they like, man, this dude went crazy. This guy is bugged out, as they say. But I'm going to show you. Now, I want to start in Joshua, chapter 2, verse 1. And Joshua, the son of Nun, sent out of Shittim two men to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, even Jericho. And they went and came into an harlot's house named Rahab and lodged there. Now, Joshua in Hebrew is Joshua. In Greek, we call it Jesus. Now, who is the only person in the Old Testament that has a name closest to Jesus in the New Testament? His name is Joshua. Joshua is a type and shadow of the prophet Isa. You call him Jesus. And here we have more evidence that this is Jesus because it says Joshua, the son of Nun. In you in, that can go two ways. Think of Mary. She was considered a nun at first because she did not know a man and she was pregnant with baby Jesus. Also, that in you in can go into N O N E meaning that he doesn't have a father. Either way it goes, this is a picture of Christ, Joshua, the son of Nun. He sent out two spies, and they came across a woman by the name of Rahab. Now, why you only love the Gospel of John? Why you only love the letters of Paul? How come you have no respect for the Hebrew scriptures, there is so much vital information in the Old Testament. And the truth is right up under your nose. It's right before your eyes. If you would just open up your Bible and blow the dust off of it. Now, I told you, I'm going to prove to you that Jesus is the Messiah of the Muslims. So here we have Joshua or Jesus, the son of Nun. We can all agree that he had a virgin birth. And now his men are at a woman's house by the name of Rahab. Now, where is Jericho located? Jericho is located in the Jordan River Valley in modern Palestine. At an elevation of 864 feet below sea level. Jericho is not only the oldest city on earth, but also the lowest one. So Jericho is right in Palestine. So look at more clues I'm bringing out. Look at more of the evidence I'm bringing out. Here we have Joshua and he sent his men and they are in Palestine. This is Jesus, the Messiah, the son of Nun in Palestine. But it don't stop there. I'm going to prove to you that Jesus doesn't have any interest in any other religion but the religion of Islam. Now let's go to Joshua 6.21. And they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, young and old, ox and sheep, and as with the edge of the sword. Joshua sent his men, and they killed everybody. Everybody. As a matter of fact, Joshua is with them right now. And he is leading this crusade. And he's killing everybody. Doesn't matter who you are. Verse 22, but Joshua had said unto the two men that had spied out the country, go into the harlot's house and bring out thence the woman and all that she hath, as ye swear unto her. And the young men that were spies went in and brought out Rahab and her father and her mother and her brother and all that she had. 
and they brought out all of her kindred and left them without or outside the camp of Israel. And they burnt the city with fire and all that was therein, only the silver and the gold and the vessels of brass and of iron. They put in the treasury of the house of the Lord and Joshua or Yahshua or Jesus saved Rahab the harlot alive. Let's pause right there. That's a whole lot. Joshua saved Rahab. Now, Jesus is the only one who told us about the Gospels. Now, the Gospels is good news. And the Gospel literally means go spell. Now, let's use the Gospels on Rahab. What can you spell in Rahab? You can spell Arab. Keep in mind, they are in Palestine. Keep in mind, this is Joshua, the son of Nun. And he is saving nobody but the Arabs or Rahab in her house. Okay? Everybody that's in her house. God is saving the Arabs and everyone who is a part of that house, which includes Muslims of all nations. This is a picture of the Gentile messenger in Genesis 49:10, how he would gather all the families of the earth. So right here, this is more than enough evidence. I should be able to just cut it off and get phone calls right now. People who want to be a part of the house of David. I should be able to stop right now and get comments because right now this is a whole lot of information I just brought out and there's nobody bringing this information out. Why? Because most people do not study types and shadows. Now, if you look online, Types and shadows was a thing of the past. Many people used to teach types and shadows. There's many pages of types and shadows. But what's wrong? That teaching died. Why? Because the false teachings of the types and shadows has literally destroyed this whole movement. But right here in the house of David, I'm bringing it back because the types and shadows I'm bringing out is 100% accurate. Now, let's keep going. Okay, because the Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. Now, let's keep going in Joshua. Joshua 6.25. And Joshua saved Rahab, the harlot, alive, and her father's household, and all that she had. And she dwelt in Israel even unto this day, because she hid the messengers which Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. Now, Jesus said in the Gospels that he would be sending the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, which is a human being, which is a person, which is a messenger. Because she hid the messengers. Now, who are the messengers? Okay, this is going into the prophet Muhammad, and this is going into the Mahdi. Right now, in the nation of Islam, we believe in two messengers, okay? We believe in the prophet Muhammad, and we believe in the Mahdi, which will be of his stock, okay? So, let's keep going. Joshua 6, 26, and Joshua adjured them at that time, saying, Cursed be the man before the Lord that rises up and rebuilds this city, Jericho. He shall lay the foundation thereof in his firstborn and in his youngest son shall he set up the gates of it. So this is a picture of Christ when he comes back and destroys the cross, which is the Christian church. And he has given you a hint that this is a Christian church because he said that the foundation will be laid on the firstborn if you try to rebuild the city. And he said the youngest son is going to set up the gates. Now, what is that going into? You have to think of Joseph and Benjamin, the two beloved sons. This is a picture of Jesus and Paul. Now, Jesus was the foundation of the Christian church because he was the sacrifice. He was the so-called sacrifice of the Christians, but you'll see that the Christians are the sacrifice. And the one who would set up the gates or run this church is the apostate Paul, which is from the tribe of the beloved Benjamin, okay? The wolf in sheep clothing. So here we have right here, 
overwhelming evidence in Joshua 6.26 that this is a picture of Christ at the last day coming back to destroy the cross. And we know that this is the Christian church because the Christian church is built on the foundation of Jesus Christ being the firstborn who was falsely murdered and the youngest son who is running the show, who is the rabbi, who is the teacher. And that is the self-proclaimed apostle Paul. Now, I'm going to stop right here because I know most people's attention span won't be able to handle it if I keep going. But this will be the part one, and I will go all the way up to part five. And the next episode, I am going to be talking about Esau marrying an Ishmaelite woman. But let's do a recap because I really want you to get this. Here we have Joshua, okay? We have Jesus, the Messiah, the son of Nun, and he is saving nobody in Jericho, but is but Rahab. And what can we spell in Rahab? Arab. And this is proof that Jesus is the Messiah of Islam and Islam only. Now, I would not make a bold claim like this if I didn't fully study along these lines. I'm fully convinced. And I'm thoroughly persuaded that this is the truth because not only the types and shadows in the Bible confirm this, but the Quran fully supports what I'm saying, that the Jews and the Christians will not believe in Jesus until he dies. That's when they will become believers. Right now, they don't believe in him yet because he haven't died. All right. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth.